Yo, what is up beautiful people of the world? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog! Yay! For today's video guys, it's a little bit different because recently, something I never expected happened. So let me tell you a quick story about it. My friend and I decided to go to Costco supermarket. Uh, for your information guys, Costco supermarket is this. So to those who don't know, Costco is a huge supermarket chain here in Japan and only members can shop there. Also it's a kind of a bulk and wholesale supermarket just to give you an idea. So let me continue the story. I was in a hurry because my friend called me that she's already at our meeting place that time and um, I had my bicycle with me and since I was kind of new to the place because um, I, I just relocated here in Hiroshima city and so I was looking for a parking area where I can park my um, bicycle so I saw these two guys parking at a certain part or certain area like in front of the convenience store um, I think it's Lawson Lawson convenience store so yeah I thought Ooh, that's a nice uh, area to park so I actually did and also I saw these uh, parked bicycles in line and so I thought there we, there we go I had I had a parking area already uh, I need to meet my friend as soon as possible because she's been waiting for me so to cut the story short we met and we went to Costco supermarket we shopped there for like about two hours and a half or three something like that so yeah we've done shopping we've done buying stuff from 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 Costco and so I went back to fetch my bicycle because um, my bicycle actually has the basket in front of it and so yeah I have a plenty of uh, purchased uh, stuff and it's easier for me to carry them if I put it like in front of my bicycle because my bicycle has a basket uh, I, I'm gonna show it to you here yeah like that so it's easier for me to carry them uh, back home and to my surprise my bicycle was missing oh no oh no it was what? gone what i didn't know what to do and so um my friend she's still with me that time we were actually clueless who to talk to or who to ask because i, I can still see some bicycles uh, on that area but it seems like it's not the same bicycles i've seen in the morning where, where i parked there in the first place and my friend she actually can speak fair japanese and because she's been living here for eight years i think mistaken she helped me ask for someone she actually asked the staff of the convenience store what should be done if the bicycle uh, parked in front of their convenience store is missing um, so yeah uh, she went with us outside and showed uh, like a specific number written actually on a pavement pavement of the road of that particular area and she said like um, she called them so we did um, so my friend uh, called that particular number that was shown to us by the lady staff of that convenience store and according to that staff on the phone he said that my bicycle was confiscated and was uh, kept at a safe place however I need to claim it in order for them to release it and I need to pay a certain amount. It was quite late in the afternoon already. I think about 5 or 6 p.m. already. So I decided to claim the, my bicycle the next day, the following day. Good thing that it's a weekend. I still had time to do so. The depository of confiscated bicycles is really, really far. So the following video was at the bicycle depository of Hiroshima Prefecture. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> So yun guys, um, finally natagpuan ko na yung um, Hiroshima uh, West Bicycle Depository. Finally makiklaim ko na yung aking uh, na-compensate na bicycle. Medyo malayo-layo yung lakad from the Heroden or from the tram station. It took me 15 minutes on foot to finally uh, reach Hiroshima West bicycle depository kung saan dito nila nilalagay or hinohold yung lahat ng mga na-confiscate na bicycles based sa mga um, violations like wrong parking all over Hiroshima so ayan kunin na natin yung bicycle ko it's a lesson learned for me na huwag magpark sa maling lugar or uh, otherwise 
check mabuti yung yung pinagpaparkingan kung tama ba yun or hindi okay so let's let's uh, claim back uh, the bicycle so ayan ito na siya guys ito na yung um, depository bicycle office claim na natin yung bicycle ko saan pupunta <laughs> baka dito okay ayun yung signage ng entrance so yan guys ito yung fine 2000 200 yan ito mga amount ng fines okay okay let's go はい。じゃあ、ピンセット。これ、ボルテンのやつなんで。これ Otherwise, magbabayad ka talaga at magpa-fine ng pag-claim ng bicycle mo. And so, ayan guys. Nagbayad lang naman tayo ng 2,200 yen as fine para ma-claim yung bicycle na na-confiscate na yesterday. So, ayan. Pinibigyan nila tayo ng ganito mga reminder kung saan ang mga bawal at mga ang bawal pag-parkingan at saka mga pwedeng pag-parkingan na zones. Ayan, it's a good thing na English talaga yung binibigay nila. Ayan. Ayan, ganyan. So, andun yung mga designated parking area with fees and mga ganyan, mga free. At saka mga impounded bicycle. So, ayan. Eh, also, may mga maps pa siya kung sa mga area, like yung mga city or ward na pwede mong paglagyan. Ito yung receipt. Ayun, dahil medyo malayo-layo yung lalakbayin kung ibabay ko siya. Oh no! Uh, mag, mag tram na lang ulit tayo. Pero, I need to fold this bicycle para mabilis siya mabit-bit. Let's do this. So, that's it guys. Ayun na nga. Um, unfortunately, my bicycle was confiscated. It was my first time, actually. I was clueless. I had no idea what to do and um... Now, it's good thing that I had my friend with me uh, when it happened. To all of you guys who are watching, um, please comment down below if it happened to you also. And what was your experience? How did you deal with it? I'd love to read them. If you are in, here in Japan or if you experienced uh, that in, here in Japan. So, ayan guys, um, it was a lesson learned for me. I would say that um, if you're in other country, uh, be very mindful with street regulations and policies. If you are not really sure, you better look for signages uh, around the place if you are uncertain or if you're not sure whether or not that place is good for parking or never hesitate to ask somebody. Next is um, you may also uh, do a little bit of uh, research before you do a certain thing, especially when you're out. If you're a foreigner like me, um, it will serve as your guidance as well. All right that's surely an unforgettable experience for me here in the land of the rising sun how about you guys what is or are your unforgettable experience here in Japan and how did you deal with it please do let me know in the comment section below uh, write your experiences and if it if this happened to you as well like me um, yeah I'd love to read your story <laughs> um, it's funny but of course all your experiences will be your teacher will be 
your best teacher in the future. So charge it to your experience and um, don't let it happen again the next time. And so that's about it with this video guys. Thank you so much for listening to that story, to that unforgettable uh, story or memory of mine here in the land of the rising sun, Japan. And um, thanks so much for joining me and thank you for watching the video up to this part. So I'll see you again soon, okay? And uh, do remember, love your life and live your purpose. I'll see you again next time guys. Bye-bye. Peace out.